Morning everyone. So this is the key to this 2021 Cadillac CT5. This is the luxury trim. Uh, so this is the entry level uh, trim for the CT5 lineup. I'm gonna go ahead and walk around this and open up the trunk for you. Very smooth opening. You can tell it's a Cadillac just by opening the trunk. If you don't believe me, go take a look at one. You get your storage pocket on the right side as well as your opening for battery hookup. Open this up, you have a little, a little storage area in here. Go ahead and close that. A very soft, if this makes sense, it's a very soft thud when you close the trunk. Like I said, you could tell the difference between Cadillac and other brands. So the door handles don't actually pull. There's a button on the inside of the handle. You have to press it and then it'll open. I'm gonna go inside here. Again, door thud sounds very uh, expensive. Ton of room back here. I mean, you can take a nap on the floor. You got USB type C back here. You have a, a little 12 volt outlet back here. You have vents for your climate control. Cup holders. Wouldn't be a Cadillac without cup holders. You could actually also tell the leather is very, very soft. It is very soft. As soon as you sit down, like the padding feels so much thicker than, than other cars I've driven. Let me go ahead and put my phone up there. Sunroof, you got a dual pane sunroof. Uh, the whole sheet on the whole fabric sheet here opens up the whole way. This doesn't move, but the front panel does. Bose Performance Series sound system. Let me go ahead and pop the hood show you what's under there now, as soon as I find the hood release where is the hood release on this thing ah it's hidden okay so under the hood here you got the two liter turbocharged four-cylinder makes 237 horsepower 258 pound-feet of torque driven by a 10-speed automatic uh, fuel economy around town 21 miles a gallon it's rated for and on uh, around the highway it's rated for 31 miles per gallon Let's go ahead and close that and this utilizes the pearl exterior color very suiting for a cadillac as well as the light interior color uh, to me just cadillacs look right with a light interior black interior looks good but to me this this spec just looks right so I'm going to go ahead and start this up. Uses the new Chime, startup Chime that uh, a lot of new Chevys are using right now. Now this is what's different. This is what separates this from a Chevy. Everything on the screen is pretty much the same. It looks a hair different, but it's all, it's, it's all still pretty much the same. Uh, all your climate buttons are down here, your fan, your temperature, where the air spits out, front and rear defrost, heated seats are down here for each side hazards. Uh, your wireless phone charger is up there, or you can just put it in this little pocket right here. Now you can use this as a touch screen, or you can be uh, Cadillac-esque and use this little rotator dial, kind of like a Mercedes or BMW, something like that. You can flip pages by going back and forth like that. You can twist it, and if you want to select something, press it down. We'll go back. And then there's different buttons for each option, too, as a shortcut. You can listen to it so that you can press that button for your radio. You can press this button for your navigation and this button to look at your phone information. You can also adjust the volume with this knob down here for the radio. You can change the channel with these two buttons there. Or you could switch between radio stations using this dial here if we were on the radio. You could switch between radio stations there. 
and then you can also change the volume up here as well as down there on the steering wheel there's a couple buttons here so because it is uh, precision shift it does have the 10 speed automatic on the paddles as well so you can flip this into manual mode and you can use the paddle shifter it's pretty cute pretty cool you get your cruise control you have your heated steering wheel your forward collision alert you can set your following distance there with your forward collision alert pick up and hang up your phone and you can look through your driver info with this little scroller on the right side trip odometers how many miles till you're empty oil life tire pressures air filter life brake pad life a ton of things even has a boost gauge and then your speeds at the top with the posted speed limit if it has one and then your radio volume here and this changes between your favorite radio stations there trunk release is down there parking brake is right here you can dim and bright your gauges right there windshield wipers and then your headlights and then the sunroof buttons you have a built-in garage door opener there's three doors you could program you can open the middle button you can open up the whole panel and you can slide the roof a little bug net comes up it's all one touch or on the right side you can just tilt it lets in a lot of natural light okay I think we're ready to take this thing for a ride You do also have a good bit of storage in here. This kind of this flips up sideways, which is different than what they normally would. You got another outlet in there. You have your USB Type A and Type C. This is your little SD card for your navigation. Okay. So a little bit of a learning curve for this. If you haven't seen my other videos, this you have. There's this unlock button on the side here. You have to push it in and then pull it back, and that's drive. Same thing with reverse, you push it in, and push it all the way forward, that's reverse, and then your camera comes up. And then if you're already in reverse, you could, it's just like a, a normal automatic gear selector, you just pop it back and it goes back in drive. Now, if you push it forward, well it's in drive, if you push it forward without the unlock button, that's neutral, and then just back in drive. And then push it again, and that's manual mode, so you can use the paddles. Okay, let's take this thing for a ride. Of course, with it being a Cadillac, it makes such elegant sounds. Chevy and GMC are starting to catch on, but I believe they've been using these different chimes and sounds for different features for the past couple years now. You can definitely feel the difference between the brands. Now there are drive modes in, in the vehicle here, so you can actually select uh, different drive modes. So right now we're in normal, we're just cruising around like normal. You can also go into, which is called tour mode, you can also go into sport mode, which tightens up the steering feel, you can hear the engine a little bit better, the brake pedals are a little more sensitive. And you can do also do snow and ice, which uh, changes traction settings, so this way you get a little more traction in the snow. Now what's nice is it is all-wheel drive. Now there is also something called My Mode, which you could take any of these features on here, steering, engine shift, brake feel, engine sound, and you can actually custom tune them however you want. Pretty cool.
All right, so we're gonna test the handling here around these turns and go up the hill here. Turns right in, completely effortless. Even with the base two liter, plenty of get up and go. Ten speed works very well with it. And this is just in normal tour mode. I'm sure it would feel a little bit better in sport. So driving so far, you can really tell that the cabin is very quiet, very refined, everything you would expect from a brand like Cadillac. Steering feel is smooth, seats are super comfortable and plush. It doesn't get rid of road noise completely. I mean, oil and chips is a real hard noise to get rid of. But it does a very good job. All right. So we're going to put this thing sport mode and see what kind of get up this thing has on the on-ramp here. Just a quick pull. Pretty solid. For the base 2 liter, pretty, pretty solid. Of course, it took those bumps effortlessly. Feels great on the highway. Really feels like you're cruising in something fancy. Alright, well that was quite a nice experience there. Now you just press P to put it in park. And just shut the engine off. Well this is a super, super, super nice car. Uh, really gives you a feel uh, of a true, true luxury car, especially coming from General Motors. I mean this car is absolutely fantastic. Uh, also is equipped with remote start, which is a very underrated feature for me. I absolutely love that. So really hope you guys enjoyed watching the video and I will see you in the next one.